if you drive from Fargo to here at night, you can see the red lights flashing, right? The, the beacons on the towers flashing, uh, you know, and hundreds of them, it looks like. So this turbine on our right here was actually the first that was completed. There was a, an awful lot of thought that went into uh, where each and every single one of these turbines was placed. The AmeriCorps Wind Energy Center encompasses 49 square miles and we generate enough electricity to power 65,000 average American homes on an annual basis. Having AmeriCorps here in this community offers the opportunity for economic contribution, um, especially during construction, and that carries into um, operations after the wind farm goes commercial. People that uh, work here during construction and also operations spend money locally, live locally. We just are so fortunate that with this project, the landowners actually came and asked for the wind development side. They have been great to work with. They are all very excited to have us out there and we look forward to working with them in the years to come. On our first projects, I believe our capacity factor was sort of in the maybe the high 20, low 30 percent. And that was considered really good at that time. But since then, towers have gotten higher, the blades have gotten longer and they become more efficient. You know, they turn to, to face the wind. And now AmeriCorps, I believe, is in that 51% expected capacity. So it's, it's really a great resource. In 1980, the cost per kilowatt hour for wind energy was 50 cents. We've had a lot of students coming up who really, really want to work in renewable energy sector um, because they, they feel like they want to be part of a solution. I think they know that this is where the, the wind is blowing, so to speak. For the longest time, people have thought that wind energy still costs the same amount as it did 40 years ago, and it is so much cheaper. Diversity in your generation portfolio is really the key. There's never going to be one power generation method that will be the answer to all. It needs to be a balanced combination uh, of all generation and putting the right generation in the right place. Here in North Dakota, uh, we have one of the best wind uh, resources in the country, so it, it makes good sense to have wind turbines here. When I first got into renewable energy, my thoughts were uh, I, was, I was excited about learning a new technology. I was excited about uh, being able to help make clean renewable energy, as well as you know having the opportunity to make an actual difference for the future. First of all, we've got to worry about reliability. That, that's everybody expects to go and flip the switch and see their electricity come on. Secondly, it's got to be cost effective, right? We, you can't just go out and spend tons of money and raise our rates two or three times because that's a fixed portion of a lot of people's income. We have some of the, if not the lowest rates in the state of Minnesota and among the lowest in the Dakotas. So again, we've got reliability and cost, but we do have to worry about the environment. You know, that's an important thing too. And we're seeing a lot more focus on that. And I, you see Otter Tail moving to a lot more renewables. The wind is here, right? So taking advantage of it and having that industry here and you know the landowners are making money from it. It's providing energy for, for the citizens of the state and the, and the region. And so change happens and, and you better be there in front of it. The company as a whole has more of a family feel. It's encouraging to know that decisions are made locally by people who know your name. When I step back and look at what we have completed as a team and as Ottertail, you just say, wow, we did it. 